I'm a 1979 graduate of the College of Pharmacy, uh, second generation pharmacist. Dad was a 1956 graduate. Uh, I have two brothers that also graduated from Ferris State, uh, another pharmacist in 1983, and then someone from the College of Business in 1983 as well. Uh, married when I was up here on, in, uh, on campus. Uh, very active when I was a student as well. I was a member of uh, the Phi Delta Chi uh, Professional Pharmacy Fraternity, was uh, treasurer of that organization, uh, and just really enjoyed my time uh, up here on campus. Uh, what I do now is, well, as a career path, uh, when I got out of school, I actually worked for my dad. He owned a small a pharmacy in a small town in Duran, Michigan, and worked there for about a year. Then uh, it was one of those things where kind of hard to pull two salaries out of a one-and-a-half person store. So I went to work for uh, the Cook Drug Company in Flint, uh, in the Flint, Michigan area. And within uh, 11 months, I was actually made a store manager. So I managed the entire store uh, as well as the pharmacy department. Worked for Cook's for about a year and a half and then went and bought my dad's pharmacy. So I, I ran the store uh, for 11 years and then sold it to, to Rite Aid Pharmacies in 1992. Uh, worked for Rite Aid as a, a staff pharmacist, pharmacy manager, actually got promoted into management. So I was a uh, district pharmacy district manager and a total store district manager uh, for a number of years. And then in 1999, I uh, actually got the opportunity to do what I'm doing now, which is pharmacy recruiting. So for almost 15 years now, I have been a regional pharmacy recruiter. My day-to-day -day job is basically I, I do a lot of traveling. I, uh, I cover the states of Michigan, Kentucky, and then central and western Ohio. But I also go out as far as the Dakotas, Iowa. There are, I think, 137 colleges of pharmacy now. One of my little things is I collect the coffee mug from everyone that I've been to, and my collection is over 50. So I've been to a number of those, of those pharmacies. So I talk to licensed pharmacists, but really the biggest thing I do is work with uh, student pharmacists and then graduate, uh, graduating pharmacists to help them move on in their careers as well. So that's kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis now. My dad graduated, as I said, in 56. And when I was in high school, I uh, was going to be anything but a pharmacist. And I thought I would be a teacher, realized that really I, I Trying to draw two salaries, uh, two teacher salaries, and raise a family was not going to be very uh, was not going to be easy. So I actually was accepted into into pharmacy uh, in the fall of 1971. Registered, ready to start classes, and then this little thing called the draft came along. So I ended up joining the Navy. Uh, spent four years in the service. When I got out, knew exactly that I, what I wanted to do was to come back and, and go to pharmacy school. So. I came back, uh, was accepted at Ferris. You know, fortunately, the next spring, I was actually accepted into the College of Pharmacy. And, and uh, two and a half years later, I, I was an accelerated student and, and graduated and have been licensed since uh, February of 1979. Just one of the best decisions I ever made in my life was to come to Ferris. Seeing the growth in the college and in the university is, is just really a source of pride. Um, spending over eight years on the pharmacy uh, alumni board uh, over seven years as president of that group, seeing the action or the in, the improved uh, involvement of the alumni with the college, uh, being able to work with first Dean Ian Matheson, and then uh, now with Dean uh, Steve Durst has just been a joy. And then for the last three years, my uh, participation on the university alumni board as a pharmacy representative. Uh, again, it has been just uh, a pleasure uh, working with President Eisler and, and Fritz and just being able to see how we can help the university advance its mission, which is, to me, really at the forefront of what this college and this university does. Ferris trains pharmacists to be ready to practice from day one. It was interesting because I had uh, one of the vice presidents that I worked with, and she admitted to me that she would much rather hire a Ferris grad because they're more ready to practice pharmacy from the minute they step out than some other schools. Uh, they, the, the confidence that we're well trained, ready to practice, is, is something that um, I, I think I see this school being very much at the forefront. Uh, I think the chance, the fact that the college prepares you to go out and do things outside of just pharmacy um, really gave me a basis for some of the things that I've done in my career. Where, you know, I'm fortunate to have been you know, past president of the Michigan Pharmacist Association served a number of years on the Michigan Pharmacy Foundation, and been involved with a number of organizations around uh, the country as well. And so I think just the, the confidence that I got 
at Ferris that I have, we have our talents, we are well trained, and that basically gave me the, the confidence to then take other leadership roles with other groups as well. A lot more focused. I, I guess that a lot of that had changed even. I was a lot more focused when I came back to Ferris from when I was a, a freshman at Central Michigan, a little more mature in that. I think um, one of the things uh, that my parents instilled in me was that, that need to give back. And I think that's one of the things now that, you know, being in a position, you know, not always even from a financial perspective, but just from a, a time perspective and, a, 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 you know, your ability to in, go out and impact uh, people and tell them what a great job Ferris does training their, their you know, their, their children. Um, the ability, like last spring, going to the accepted students uh, dinner or luncheon in, uh, in Saginaw and talking to not just pharmacy uh, prospective students, but talking about what opportunities Ferris will give them and to, to make sure that they, they get involved when they're students because the lifelong benefits you're going to see are just unbelievable. So to be a Bulldog, it means that you graduated from one of the best universities in, in the United States. We may be smaller than, than some others. We may not have the name recognition, but the talent and the quality of students from the whole perspective across the whole uh, strata of our programs, you're second to none. Uh, to be a Bulldog, it's, I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. It's an interesting question because people have asked me, you know, how do you find the time? You know, when, I, when the kids were smaller and I was still at home and they were very active in sports and band and those kind of things and, and my wife was a full-time teacher um, and people would say, well, how do, you, how do you find time to get involved? And I said, how do you find time not to? The, we talked about some of the people that I've met and that I've been able to interact with over my, my career here. I have gained more personal growth and professional growth because of the time that I've invested with Ferris State University than I ever would have received had I not. And I will tell you that if you get involved, however much time you can afford to give, you will gain so much more back in friendships, uh, growth in your personality, growth in your professional awareness, growth in, in your talents than you could ever imagine. Uh, I, it just, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have, uh, hadn't been involved with Ferris State University. Regardless of which program you want to go into, if you do your research, you're going to find Ferris has one of the highest um, postgraduate hiring opportunity or hiring uh, percentages out there. I think you're going to find that it's very hands-on. You're going to get very technical training in whatever field you go into, very personalized training, uh, a, a smaller faculty to student ratio than you will at some of the big universities, and the quality of education you're going to get will be second to none. Um, you're, in a, you're in a community where they love the fact that Ferris is here. Uh, you're going to have opportunities to get involved with n numerous organizations, and that's really the thing that I would recommend that if you do come here, you get involved.